Hi, this is Excel video 156. I'm Nate Moore, and what we're going to do today is work on the right function. Last time we did left, left the function looks like that. Right is a little bit more complicated. Let me show you what I've done here to get James V out of this James V Anderson. What right wants to know is exactly the same as left. Tell me where the text is. It's in cell A4, the same James V. Anderson we did last time. And all right is saying is, instead of starting from the left and telling me how many characters to count, right says, no, 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 start way over here at the right and go back the other way and count how, how many characters from the right. The trick to right is this part right here. When we want to know how far right to go on James V. Anderson, let's see if we can drag that kind of out of the way. What we have to know is, number one, how long is the entire James V. Anderson, and then we have to go backwards to find the comma. Remember, on left, all we had to do is find the comma, and we're done. On right, we have to know how far over to start and then count our way back to the comma. So what C4 does is it uses the length function we did last time. C4 is going to tell us how long James V. Anderson is, and B4 is going to find the comma, and the length minus where the comma is, again minus one to get rid of the comma, is going to give us James V. Let's see if I can uh, show you an example of that. If we come back to getting Elizabeth J. Brown, what we want to do is, uh, here's the right function, A5, that's where Elizabeth J. Brown is, and then to get Elizabeth, what we have to know is, how, how many characters are there in Elizabeth J. Brown? That's in C5, that's right here, there's 18. So from the right, I want to go over 18 characters, less where the comma is. So I got to get, I, I'm going to go over 18 minus 6 is 12. And again, I've got to take one off of that because if I don't, and then we got to make this a little bit bigger, I'm going to get Elizabeth J, and then um, I'm going to get the space here between Brown and Elizabeth. Does that see how it's uh, Elizabeth is scooted over from Jennifer and James? What I've got here, if I put the minus one back, is now I'm not counting to let's this Elizabeth J. Brown. I'm counting the J, the Elizabeth, and stopping at the E and not including the space. That's what this minus one does, is it takes away the space next to the comma. So let's do one more, Jennifer A. Davis. Jennifer A. Davis is, se is 17 characters long. The comma is six characters in. So what I want to do is, from the right, I want to go uh, from the right, I want to go 17 minus 6 is 11 minus 1 more is 10, and that's going to give me the Jennifer A that goes right there. So, again, if you look at right, it's just where's the text? It's in A6, and how many characters? The total number of the characters minus where the comma is minus 1 more will give me Jennifer A. That's left and right. The problem now is I've got Jennifer A and Elizabeth J and James V. How do I get rid of the middle initial? Right now, I've got first name and middle initial. How do I get rid of the, the uh, middle initial and just have James or Elizabeth or Jennifer? The function's called mid, and we'll play with that next time. See you then.